Okay, so we're going to talk about speed. Speed is going to be a whole lot like density, okay? Do you remember our density formula? Anybody? What was it, Damasio? Uh, what was it? Perfect. That's exactly what it was. So speed is going to be a lot alike. Only speed is going to be speed equals distance, distance divided by time. divided by time. Okay. So we've got our worksheet right here. We've got some instructions on the top. James, what do those instructions say? Use the speed formula. Speed equals distance per time. To divided by time. Divided by time to calculate the problem. Thank you, sir. Josh, what does number one say? How fast are you going if you, if you fly 60,000 kilometers in five hours? Okay, so how fast are you going if you fly 60,000 kilometers in five hours? What are the two things that we need from this right here to calculate the speed? We need the numbers, but it's called distance, speed, and time. Come on, guys. This is the time. All right. Speed equals distance divided by time. So we need to find the distance in here. What is the distance? Demasio? Um. Giovanni? 6,000 kilometers. 60,000 kilometers. Oh, yeah, 60. Well, whoop. That's okay. I want you to underline this, too, and put a D over top of it for distance. Okay? Well, what else do we need? We've got the distance. What else do we need? Time. Giovanni? Time. Okay. What is the time, Carrie Ann? Five hours. Five hours. So I'm going to underline that and put a T on top. Okay? You remember how we set up all of our problems for density? We always wrote the formula first, then we substituted it in, then we had our answer. So I set this up for you on this paper, okay? So here we've got speed equals distance divided by time. And then I've got the two places for you to put your stuff and the place for your answer, okay? What do we need to put first, Alexa? Um, distance. Okay, what is that going to be? She said 60,000 kilometers, she's exactly right. The abbreviation for kilometers is KM, okay? So KM right there. What do we need next, Christian? Uh, five hours. Five hours, because that is? The time. Because that's the time, good. So five, and then how should I abbreviate hour, do you think? H. An H? Or an HR. Either one of those is fine. So if we plug this into our calculator, what are we going to get? 12,000. 12, Here it said 12,000. So we can't just have a 12,000 hanging there willy-nilly. This is science class, not math class. We've got to have some units. What are we going to do with these units? What do you think? Exactly. Giovanni said KM per H. We got the KM from right here. We got the H from right here. How would we say this? Does anybody know? How are we going to say this? Christian? 12,000 kilometers per hour. Christian said 12,000 kilometers per hour. He's exactly right. Good job. Good job. Number two. Joanne? You run two miles in 20 minutes. How fast are you running? Okay. Hagen, what two things do we need to pull out of here to make to make this happen? The distance and the time. Hagen, Hagen said the distance and the time. He's exactly right. Which one is the distance? Two miles. He said two miles. I'm going to underline it. I want you to, too. Okay? And I'm going to put a D on top for distance. What do we need next? Riley? 20 minutes. 20 minutes because that is the time, right? Okay, so I underlined it, I put a T on top, 
We've got this all set up right here, perfect, just how we did for density, okay? Speed equals distance divided by time. What do we need to plug in first, Christian? Uh, 20 minutes, 20 M. So minutes, we're going to put M-I-N, okay? Wait, no, you put that on the other side. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, we're backwards. Wait. We're backwards. Good catch. Okay. So we need um We need to have what first? Christian? Two meters. We need the distance first. And that's two miles, right? So how should we abbreviate miles? N. Well, meter is an M. We can put an M I though. M I yes. Let's put an M I for miles. That's the abbreviation for miles. And then, uh, what are we going to put next now? Demadio? Um, time. Time? And which one? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. So, meters is an M. Mile is an M-I. So, minutes, we've got to go three letters there. So, M-I-N for minutes. If we do the math here, Kieran, what are we going to get? that she gave me the whole thing, units and all. She said 0 0.1 meters per minute. That was perfect. All right. Cameron, do you want to read the next one for us? A speed is traveling 200 kilometers in 10 hours. How fast is the train moving? Excellent. Thank you, sir. So a train is traveling 200 kilometers in 10 hours. How fast is the train moving? So what do we have to do first? What are we looking for first? Julius? Looking for, we're on the line 200 kilometers. Okay, and what is that 200 kilometers? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. D for? For distance. D for distance, okay, good. What are we, uh, what are we looking for next, Riley? Oh, uh, no, 10 hours. Okay, and 10 hours is? Uh, T for time, right? Yeah. Okay. So what should we put in first? We've got this all set up. Speed equals distance divided by time. What do we need first, Josh? Okay. What are we going to put? What, tell me what to write right here. 200 kilometers. I'm going to put 200 km because that's the abbreviation for kilometers. Okay. What do we need next, Jane? Okay, what do I write? 10H. Okay, either 10H or 10HR, whatever you want to put there is okay. If we do this math, what are we going to get? What would you get, Brad? Uh, 0 0.05. Does that sound right? Does everybody agree? 0 0.05? So I think what happened nice. is we swapped them when you entered them in the computer. So that's, yeah. you have to watch that. We've got to make sure we put distance in first and then the time. Okay? So it's 20. So we got 20. What are we going to do with the units? We just can't have a willy-nilly number hanging out. Karen? He said kilometers per hour. He's exactly right. So 20 kilometers per hour. Traveling 60 miles in 20 minutes. How fast is a jet ski moving? Okay, she said a jet ski is moving 60 miles in 20 minutes. How fast is the jet ski moving? So we've got everything set up here. Speed equals distance divided by time. So we need distance and we need time. Carrie Ann, where's our distance? 60 miles. 60 miles. 
miles, so I'm going to underline that and put a D above it. Where's our time, Julius? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So I'm going to put a T above it. Okay, Christian, what am I going to write first? Speed equals distance divided by time. 60 and I okay. miles. He said 60 mi per mile, which is exactly right. Riley, what am I going to put next? 20. 20 what? Minutes. 20 minutes. So 20 min. We do the math on that. What are we going to get? Christian? We're going to get 30. Oh, minutes. Yeah, we're going to get 30 miles uh, per minute. Awesome. Okay, we're going to pick this back up Monday. Yeah, it's time to pack up.